So I won't lie here. I'm a little bit late to the party. Might not be the best journalist in bodybuilding or fitness or whatever you call this space, but I'm here anyways. Armand has been around for ages. You've probably heard of him. For if you've been around the industry at all, you've heard of him for sure. Whether it's his stripping that he did back in the day, his bodybuilding career, his very risky endeavors with the recreational drug scene, whatever it might be, you've definitely heard of this guy. He's been very open about his past, the dark side of bodybuilding and a lot of the shit he's done. And he's a good guy, legitimately. He recently did something that just honestly doesn't make sense and he's trying to sort of pull back and draw in the real right now but it just is kind of too late the industry's taking this by storm something that just took what everyone else already does in the industry and then maximized it times like 11 and it was posting these pictures which are obviously completely almost ai generated they look like a gta character had just popped out of the game and put himself into a photo shooting studio there is zero difference from this to the gta character at 180p resolution and now he's putting at the top of it for all the ignorant people this is obviously shopped slash ai photo edited before this wasn't on any of the content that he had published with these kind of photos and they keep going he kept talking about veins and he kept talking about just crazy stuff right talking about as if this was the physique that he had developed he talks about sort of how to be overcoming the hard stuff the instagram typical motivational thing but when you're posting pictures like this that don't even have your real face your real physique or any of it it's crazy and in this photo for example the description reads the past year i was just eating whatever thinking i can just diet a bit and get lean since i've always been that way at 285 pounds i had severe sleep apnea horrible ass reflux was bloated blah 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 two months ago i said it's okay time to get in the best shape ever again even though i'm not competing anymore did my training change? No, just started eating clean and my apnea, reflux, and severe tiredness went away. What did I change? Diet, which is everything. And essentially, he goes on to say that this is essentially what he looks like. He's representing that this is the photo of him currently this is what he looks like like he goes on correcting people like can you do a video on your ab separation like is that just genetic or is it a form of surgeries you've had this person thinks this is a real photo and he actually goes in to correct them genetics my brother has been the same linea albia he's correcting people on the photo that's not real of him <laughs> he obviously wasn't trying to get people to think that this was a photoshopped photo when he initially posted that. So like I said, the industry ran crazy with this stuff. And this was Armand's last bodybuilding competition compared to the photos that he had posted, not looking so good in comparison. Compared to the stage shots, there is some very clear and obvious differences between not just his physique, but his face, his hairline, I mean, everything in the photo is photoshopped everything a lot of people mentioned that he grew his johnson with photoshop too very possible a lot of people do that and it's a very normal thing within this industry oddly oddly really oddly enough i, I don't know if it's actually intentional for a lot of people but they do it for some god forsaken reason I'm not trying to be rude and that's i, I want to be very clear about this i'm not trying to be rude here a man has the right to post whatever he would like however he would like if it deceives people or if it doesn't that's his own choice and his morality gets to decide what he wants to post about my issue lies more in with the people who don't realize these photos are completely falsified these are just ai generated photos the thousands and thousands of people who saw these photos prior to him publishing that they were obviously ai generated photos didn't know no, these were AI generated photos. Now he has his own coaching service and he publishes about it a lot talking about how he's a world renowned prep coach. So he gets a lot of business. He's a pretty good coach. He's been out there for a while. And this is where in lies the biggest problem with Armand and simply posting these AI generated photos. Because when we go to his actual website where he's selling his book and a lot of different other things, guess what he's using as the marketing for these things is AI generated photos. You want to buy his book and hear about his crazy life and cycles of a professional bodybuilder as insinuating that this is what he looked like doing the things that he's going to be telling you in this book mm, eh, it's probably not the case and when we go over to bodybuilding and fitness or his product page what are we faced with again another completely shopped photo man <laughs> including all of his training programs for sale with the same exact photos on them as well he's even selling a digital download carb cycling cutting plan for anyone who's ready to get shredded personally developed by Armand himself. I don't know about you guys, but this Armand on the cover of this digital download carb cycling product, I don't know, this doesn't really look like homeboy to me. It kind of looks more like a street fighter 
character than a actual human being at this point. So look, again, I want to be very clear about this. I'm not trying to be intentionally rude. I just think it's complete bullshit when you're trying to market things and then you place your marketing in a falsified manner or you do something that's quite precarious in terms of like morality that will obviously accumulate you more sales because people do believe that this physique is real and you curated it yourself. Those individuals who do have maybe a weaker mind or, or maybe aren't a thoughtful purchaser when they're looking around for things to buy are going to be like, hell yeah, this is what I need. This is the obvious blueprint that I'm missing, especially older generations who aren't that savvy with AI generation yet and don't realize that AI can pretty much generate anything at this point, even videos that look very real. I could even be an AI talking to you right now, motherfucker. But real talk, I think this is inappropriate and it, it is it is messed up in a lot of different ways. It really is messed up in a lot of different ways. If you are a person marketing your fitness program, your coaching, your purchasables that are relative to fitness or promise the change of someone's physique, you should be very clear about the fact that these things are going to be realistic obtaining you an X, Y, or Z result, right? Your physique is going to be presented as the X, Y, or Z result. So if you are, for instance, photoshopping the shit out of your photos, you should be very clear about this. And in your advertising, probably stray away from the photoshopped photos because in a sense, that is completely false advertisement. Two, if you are taking steroids, for example, and getting pretty massive amounts of gains, you should also be pretty transparent about this because it is in part why you have developed the physique you've developed and it's not the programs that you're selling. <laughs> If you sold people the cycles that you ran, you would probably get them more results closer to what you've gotten versus your training program. Neither here nor there. What I mean to say is this is bullshit false advertising. And Armand's a good character. I've watched him for ages. Again, he's been around bodybuilding forever. This is just completely nonsense. I mean, it's just not fair to the people on Instagram. It's false advertisement. It is extremely degrading in terms of someone's reputability. And uh, I, I, you don't catch me. <laughs> You won't catch me posting it. Well, maybe I might actually do this as a joke now, just for fun. I'll uh, start making Instagram posts of my own physique like this. We can all make fun of it together. I don't know. That's about it. If you guys want a Discord group that actually talks about the truth with supplementation, pharmacology, nutrition, training, all of that, there's one down in the dink. Down in the dink. Fuck me. Down in the link below, and you're more than welcome to click it. There's a free section, as well as multiple paid sections, which do allow you to get closer access to coaches to help you out with everything that you need to be successful. I will catch you in the next video.